It's one of those days when it feel like this. When you feel like this. When your flies can get. And sunshine don't quit. And the rain don't stay. It's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day. It's just one of those days when it feel like this. When you feel like this. When your flies can get. And sunshine don't quit. And the rain don't stay. It's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day. I hope the sun forever shine and you can forever feel the rays. I pray all your dark nights. May they turn to brighter days. Make your wings spread wide as you're soaring through the sky. Looking down at all your haters. Make them wonder how you fly. No lie. I feel your pain because I've been through the same thing. I fell in the fire. Made it out unscathed. <laughs> What is going on? What is going on? Man, listen. Y'all y'all surprised me. Y'all surprised me. I did not expect. So today is Saturday. Um yesterday was the drop of the Royal Blue Phone Posit One. And um I was surprised with how many people actually seemed like they were digging them and they were checking for them and they were going after them. Um, especially since everybody trying to, trying to debate about, oh, we don't wear the big bulky shoes no more, no more basketball shoes, we don't wear them casual no more, all of the things, and then, lo and behold, lo and behold, when that classic colorway dropped, y'all folded, but I don't blame y'all. Now, as it relates to me. I still have my 2017 pair and um let me settle let me settle in real quick real quick so I still have my 2017 pair and um I feel like mine are still good to go I actually I checked on these um I want to say a couple days ago because I thought I didn't wear them yet actually I thought I didn't wear them yet but I have and um nonetheless they still they still in they still in a good situation. Still in a good situation. I uh a little ziplock situation. Uh, and again I know that they make um I know that there is an actual company that makes bags where you can kind of seal up kicks like these with the icy bottoms and things, but I just I still have ziplocks on certain pairs. Um, and it's cheaper than paying probably whatever they can per bag or uh, charging per bag. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I take both out. I take both. I take both shoes out. Man, listen, my pair, my pair looks nice, looks clean, looks like, looks like I bought it. I just bought it. We'll just we'll just say that it looks like I just bought it. Let me make sure it's not make sure it's focused. But yeah, it looks like I just bought it to me. Look clean to me. Looks clean to me. And this camera is tweaking. It wants I got too much going on in the in in the frame. I know. And it wants to focus on what it wants to focus on. But anyway. Super clean still. Um, not a whole lot of differences as far as the drop from yesterday and this one. So the only thing different is that my swoosh is just a white swoosh, which is a standard. And um, the carbon fiber, my carbon fiber doesn't have the royal blue. It has the standard carbon fiber. Um, and I think, I think yesterday's drop has the blue has blue um has the blue logo inside versus the white so i have the standard i have the standard phone posit one fixings but yesterday's drop um was the one from the 97 ad which had the the outline here i'm not sure what the insole of the the 97 ad pair was um i do have the outline on the penny penny on my tongue seems like it's oxidized a little bit but overall it's not something you would really see unless you really paying attention all right um yeah so anyway camera tweaking but that's the reason why i wasn't really wasn't really talking about the drop this year and um 
yeah and I didn't do any content that was geared around the drop so I have my pair it looks great both both shoes look fantastic super clean um, if anything it reminded me I need to wear them so yeah anyway did y'all y'all grab a pair are y'all waiting to maybe see if they go down in price I know that um think what is it 240 now when I grabbed these these was uh these were 230 so they've gone up in price since 2007 you can see here on my box 230 $10 since 2017, seven years later, okay? Um, which, from a price increase perspective, that's not a lot, but this shoe just in general, just, man, the cost, they, they cost some money, but they do last, they do last. Y'all saw in the B-roll from earlier, my navy blue um, gum bottom pair, I mean, I've had that pair probably for as long as I've had this pair, if not longer, and um, they last. It's 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 the most durable pair of shoes probably in my collection. Like, you you gonna get your money's worth. So it's just a matter of if you a basketball shoe fan or not, and um, if you can appreciate foams. So anyway, my pair is fire. Pair is still good. I'm good. Anyway. So I'm filming this during halftime of the Michigan um, Arkansas State game. So as of right now, we have a nice little lead. Um, not really digging these turnovers with uh, by Davis Davis Warren. Um, he's still kind of getting his his wings up under him a little bit. Um, not a big fan of him just yet. He's been performing a lot better. I feel like his completion rate is a lot better. Um, he's playing what I feel like with more confidence. Um, but I think the biggest good, the biggest sign um, of positivity just outside of him is our rushing game right now. Um, last year, if y'all watched us, the running game was pretty much our bread. Well, actually the past three years, running game has been our bread and butter. Um, but we also had Blake Horn. So yeah, now we got Donovan Edwards, who is not Blake Horn by any stretch of the imagination, but he's next man up. But I'm really liking Mullins right now. I feel like Mullins has kind of that Blake Corum DNA. Um, I don't, in terms of just his performance thus far, I think he has a little bit more of, um, a little bit more power in his rushing game. Um, the ability to break tackles and, and break free in a, in a crunch, so just saying, but anyway. Let me get done with this before halftime is over. I probably will overlap a little bit. But anyway, speaking of my Michigan fellas, or my Michigan Wolverines just in general, I did give me a little haul um, of stuff that I grabbed. Um, this is stuff that I've had in my heart for like however long and I just finally decided to pull the trigger um so it's just a bunch of stuff that I finally pressed purchase on that was in my cart on um I think I got everything from Fanatics I believe I did yeah anyway a couple of hats to start so get me a little white Michigan hat and I do just so y'all know I do snapbacks and adjustable caps I do not do fitteds um it's not a hard no on fitteds it's just that fitteds are too much of a commitment for me I feel like if I can adjust my hat um I have more flexibility and freedom and then also too I like the way I like the way snapbacks look whether forward or backward because I do oftentimes wear my hats to the back and a snapback I think gives the appropriate look but anyway so I got the white one and I got that kind of that standard M logo one um, and this one is a new era and this one is 47 which they actually um, they got some decent stuff over there to me got a couple tees couple tees couple tees 
Um, I guess I really just wanted to go ahead and grab all of this stuff while it was like on my mind. Cause obviously again, kicking off fall football, you know, need need some, some, some new gear, some fresh gear to add on to what I already have. So we'll get our little standard gray tee. This one right here is a little different. This tee, this may be blue. And uh, you have the blue and maize, but it's about the big house, baby. The big house, where the magic happens, baby. <laughs> um, I didn't get a count of the crowd size um, for today's game. But I think last week that Texas game had well over 100,000 people there. So, just saying. Just saying. This one right here is a, I think this is a Mitchell and Ness shirt. It's a t-shirt, but it is a... Long sleeve tee. Okay. So we got our Wolverine on the um the M logo and the cool little Wolverine spot on the sleeve. Got a little something on the sleeve as well. Like that like a little Michigan flag and then a Michigan logo. I'm probably like she's still going yes still going because when i had a lot of stuff that was just sitting in my cart and i wanted to make sure i grabbed them um and some of y'all probably wondering do i think michigan is going to go far this season because of all of the changes right um i'm really to be honest with you it's a wait and see game for me right now um it's because, again, we got majority of the team went to the NFL, right, in terms of our identity. And that includes our coach. So Jim Harbaugh went to the NFL as well. So now yeah, we pretty much just have Loveland, which is a tight end, Loveland and Donovan Edwards that are still there. Um, I think we still got a couple folks from the defensive side. Um, we still have our defensive coordinator, I believe, and um, – so our defensive identity can still be the same and take us far. But offensively, we don't have an identity yet. And because of that, I, I don't know. My hopes are not really that high. So I'll be pleasantly surprised um, at once we get it together. So anyway, this is another Mitchell and Ness piece. This is a sweater, gray sweater. Michigan Wolverines on the front. Then it got a little bit more extra graphics on the back. Michigan Wolverines. Got some sleeve action. With a little uh, gold blue flag. Gold blue flag. And um, on the other sleeve, we've got another Michigan logo. I'm trying to make sure this is capturing this instead of my face. It wants to touch, it wants to capture my face so bad. <laughs> Um, I'm probably going to get a different vlogging camera at some point. Um, this this particular camera, I, mean, I got two cameras, a set camera and this camera which I use for vlogging. So I'm kind of shopping around for um, some different options. But anyway, I love this sweater because, um, and again it's Mitchell and Ness. I love it because it has the three stripes going around the sleeve too. So it's a nice little... Nice little fresh fresh on game day or just any time but nine times out of ten on game day. Um we still got we still got a couple things left. My ESPN alert on my phone. But yeah, so we still got a couple things left in the hall in the hall box. So got another t-shirt. This is just a standard kind of t-shirt I can wear under um you know, it's about, it's about to be fall, so it's about to start getting, you know, cool. It's not going to be hot no more, so we just need some just standard stuff to wear under jackets, 
and zip ups and all of that. So just a standard um, May's t-shirt, Michigan Wolverines. So this is just something again, I can, I can rock just if I'm not trying to be extra, right? Or something I can rock under a jacket or something. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed a sweater similar to the t-shirt. Um, I don't typically buy Maze Dominant, um, even though I'm wearing a Maze Dominant <laughs> shirt right now. Um, I don't typically buy Maze Dominant gear just because it's bright. It's the brightest part of our, our um, school colors. And I'm not, I, I talk about this often, I'm not a bright color person. I do try to dabble. So this is me trying to dabble a little bit, all right? <laughs> But still represent. So, got that standard Michigan and that logo. So, just something, nothing too crazy. I did go up in size on all of this, um, just because you know, every, every look, every single shirt ain't got to be all up my pits and and you know, kind of close to my body. I do like. I do, you know, I've had a habit of buying shirts so that they fit me closely up top. But you know, having a, a small waist and then, you know, it starts to insinuate as we get low, you know, below the waist. I just feel like, okay, having a small waist and, you know, kind of, you know, having a little bit of in shape, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little in shape, a little something like that, you know. So I like I like my shirts to be able to show that, right? Um, and to also uh, exude my femininity, right? I don't want everything to be like overly big, but um, I've started to go up in size just because I do, I could use a little extra space, okay? Let's just call it what it is. And there are certain looks that I would just prefer them be just, you know, not, not like this look, right? This has a, a place, a time, and a vibe, right? But this would also have a place, time, and a vibe as a as a size bigger than what I'm wearing, right? Or actually, a t-shirt to a t-shirt would be a better comparison. So this this t-shirt is a size bigger than this t-shirt. So the aesthetic will look slightly better as opposed to you seeing it up my pits. It'll probably be a little bit a little bit looser, right? <laughs> It's right here like it's you know this this is not blowing in the wind okay so but this 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 would allow a little breeze to go up there a little bit you know hit my skin so but anyway yeah I cleaned up pretty good I think I'm I think I'm set for fall football and basketball like well, let's go let's go <laughs> go blue let me get back to this game no I'll be back Progress is only lessened if you never give a try Don't ever doubt yourself, all you can ever do is try You're only human, nothing beats a fail but a try You win some, you lose some, just a part of living life You're praying for better days, hoping the sun will shine your way You're happy, now you're smiling, finally your life has changed You dress good and you feel good, just one of those days Where nothing went wrong, and all you can really say is just one of those days, when it feel like this When you feel like this, when your flies can get the sunshine don't quit and the rain don't stay It's such a beautiful day, it's such a beautiful day It's just one of those days when it feel like this When you feel like this, when your flies can get The sunshine don't quit and the rain don't stay It's such a beautiful day, it's such a beautiful day I often think of my mama and the drama that she went through The woman that she is today because of what she went through Strong, independent, always standing on her own too And Reese and Ruthie, I can say the same about you too Just a few women that was influential Helped shape my mental, race me instrumental And to all of you, I swear I'm gonna give the world Infinite, beautiful days Every diamond, every pearl Go ahead, sister, you can make it if you try Go ahead, brother, you can make it if you try I understand your hesitation, put your fears aside You have the power deep inside, just believing you will rise Praying for better days, hoping the sun will shine your way You're happy, now you're smiling
smile and finally your life has changed You dress good and you feel good Just one of those days where nothing went wrong And all you can really say It's just one of those days when it feel like this When you feel like this When your flies can get this System blasting pole pimping chicken sizing up the frame like where they do Hit up comments for that five where them people toss that five I'm just trying to spread their love and sip some brew We be west side dipping system blasting pole pimping chicken sizing up the frame like where they do Hit up comments for that five where them people toss that five I'm just trying to have a good time with the crew Ay. We in that bubble and parlor, she dropped the plans when I caught her Hit the strip with that pole, these niggas savage for dollars They don't attack when you lack, watch for 12, watch my back Keep that essence so potent, she always going off the sack She left a scent on my collar, scratch marks on her neck Baby rocking that boat, it's all hands on deck The way she got me in traffic, damn near cost the wreck Crash course on this vibe, when I ride, just cut the check Paper being made like thunder, Mifflin Hustling all day from the office to the kitchen Steady cooking up the vision You know we bout to make it But first things first Where you think I'm bout to take it? We be west side dipping system blasting Pole pimping chicken sizing up the frame like what it do Hit up comments for that five Where them people toss that five I'm just trying to spread the love and sip some brew We be west side dipping system blasting Pole pimping chicken sizing Finish up with a workout here Royals edges still look okay okay these are the edges uh, of somebody uh, ha, ha, that give a damn about the quality of life just think of it that way <laughs> anyway um hopefully the b-roll that i put in there is, is uh turns out decent i didn't really review it like that and also too one thing that people don't know that does not create content is that in order for y'all to get like top tier b-roll um angles lighting all of the things like the person has to like take the extra time to set all that stuff up like for me to set my camera up correctly and do all of the things and making sure I'm in a spot that just looks perfect, you know, that 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 takes a little bit of time because it's detail, right? It's detail. Um, but also the problem with that is that I'm like my workout session is a real workout session. It's not like a let me grab some content workout session. <laughs> so um, that time has to be spent, like really like getting effective reps in, right? So. Um, I got what I could. Now I got what I could. I needed to be able to maximize my time um, to actually get the work, the appropriate workout in. All right. So, um, but y'all let me know. I mean, I, I don't really. Probably the last time I brought my camera to the gym was probably during the pandemic. Um, because yeah, what else? What else was anybody doing besides working out? You know, <laughs> when no stores and nothing open. So, um, but anyway, I'm about to get something to eat um, and I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. It's Saturday, I can have what I want. So, um, yeah, if you know me, you probably can guess uh, what I'm getting, but I'll check back in with y'all. And my and my camera is about to die, so I gotta shut up. All right. Royals, we back at the house. We back at the house. Um, before I forget, so I was gonna show y'all, I was gonna show y'all my little treat. But before I forget, let me take my other scoop of creatine. <sighs> gotta take my other scoop of creatine because, uh, yeah, I gotta make sure. And these lights are shining bright, causing a glare. My bad, my bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, we are currently kind of doing our last little, our last little lane out for the year before the holiday season comes around. You know, because we, we enjoy ourselves during the holiday season. So, <laughs> just so y'all know. 
So the bag does not have the label on it at all, but I think I've shown you guys this before from my spot, Burger Point. Um, this is just like sweet potato fries and uh, dressing and stuff in here, but it's right here. Excuse me, I can't really get, can't really get, there we go. It's right here. And just let me just make sure. Uh oh, it wouldn't snap closed. Good thing they must not have put the extra sauce because it would have been dripping. My pleasure. This is my real pleasure. So, hot buffalo wings. Um, they did not make them wet like I typically like, but they still gonna be delicious. I like extra sauce. I like the, I like the sauce to be in the bottom so I can kind of you know sop it up a little bit, but it's okay, it's all good. Um, and then like I said in here, and I'm trying to do this before my, trying to do this before my camera die. In here is just the ranch. There's a little um, I don't know what this sauce is, but you can dip the fries in there as well. And then just got a nice little sweet potato fry situation going on. So yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Bow, 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 bow. That's today's cheat meal. All right, so I wanted to show you all that, and um, yeah, I'm about to grub, and then uh, I'll check back with y'all some other time, later today, in another frame, in the same video, or in a separate video, we'll find out. But just in case, <laughs> y'all hit me in the comment section, let me know if y'all cop the Royal Phone posit ones. If y'all cop the uh, Midnight Navy Jordan ones, um, y'all cop something completely different from both those things. There's other things to purchase. So again, you know, or not even again, but just in general, don't feel pressure to purchase what Nike got going on. Other brands got stuff that's interesting, comfortable, fresh, all of the things. So y'all let me know what y'all own. I did finish Dustborn. It was a 10 hour playthrough. Um, and maybe I'll dig into my full thoughts on it in a different video, but I did enjoy it. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, and yeah, it was decent. It was a decent little quick playthrough. It wasn't super challenging at all. Um, it was just something to run through and kind of get my momentum in gaming. So, <laughs> and also play it. One of my, my favorite developers is something that they invested in. So, um, anyway, my arm is getting tired, I'm hungry. Obviously, y'all saw me putting in work, so it's time. Um, hit me in the comment section, let me know what y'all been on. Um, and until next time, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>